Today, we'll browse an impressive private jewellery collection of Grace Kelly, later Princess Grace of Monaco. We'll explore the stories behind her most exquisite top seven jewellery, find out why she received two Cartier engagement rings from her royal fiancé, and discover her favourite gemstone. At the end of the video, we'll tell you about a stunning sparkler meant for the royal princess that she never received. Grace Kelly, the American film actress married to Prince of Monaco Rainier III, has become an icon of undeniable beauty and effortless elegance. Though the princes of the second smallest state in the world do not own a conventional collection of royal jewels, Grace was quite fortunate to start her own jewellery collection from scratch. All her jewels reflect her own style, and she wore them repeatedly throughout her life. Her Serene Highness received several impressive bejeweled wedding gifts from her fiancé to start the collection. Let's begin our sparkly overview with the iconic diamond engagement ring she received from her doting husband, Prince Rainier. Cartier Diamond Engagement Ring Soon after Grace met Prince Rainier, their romance blossomed, and he proposed to her with a delicate eternity band by Cartier in 1956. The ring was set with alternating rubies and diamonds, recalling the colors of the Monaco flag. The happy bride-to-be showed off the symbolic ring at a press conference at her parents' home in Philadelphia in 1956, dedicated to their engagement. Then, the photographers took close-up shots of the ring. We've made a brief tour of Grace Kelly's childhood Philadelphia home on our other channel if you're interested. The link will be left in the description of this video. The ring featured quite a simple design, and Grace wasn't reportedly impressed. Thus, Prince Rainier headed to the Cartier shop to save the situation. He commissioned the famous jeweler to make a hefty 10-carat emerald-cut diamond sparkler which became the trend at the time. The prince reportedly paid a substantial sum of $4 million, making it one of the most expensive rings among royals and celebrities. For comparison, Princess Diana's engagement ring was valued at $550,000 and Jacqueline Kennedy's at $2.6 million. The value of Grace Kelly's engagement ring overwhelmed them all. Considering inflation, its current price might exceed $44.9 million. The prince obviously wanted to ensure his future wife would like it, and she did. The second ring was literally epic, so Grace was enamored with it. A stunning diamond was flanked by two baguettes set in platinum. Kelly wore it both in MGM publicity photographs and her final film, High Society, instantly making the Cartier Sparkler one of the most iconic engagement rings in the world. Princess Grace became a lifelong fan of Cartier. Even now, Grace Kelly's engagement ring is considered one of the most expensive in the world. It supposedly inspired some of the most famous engagement rings over the years, including those of Beyoncé, Anne Hathaway, Kim Kardashian, Jennifer Lopez, Amal Clooney, and Elizabeth Taylor. Nowadays, the second engagement ring of Princess Grace of Monaco belongs to the House of Grimaldi. To honor Grace Kelly's affection for the iconic Cartier design, the newly renovated Cartier mansion opened an impressive room with engagement rings dedicated to the princess. The round room is designed in a refined pale color palette and is one of the most elegant spaces in the building, adorned with photographs of Princess Grace. The Grimaldi royal family loaned the engagement ring and other Cartier jewelry pieces to be displayed in the room for one month after the renovation. Now that you understand why Princess Grace had not one but two engagement rings, let's move to her adorable tiaras. Princess Charlotte, Prince Rainier's mother, owned several impressive diadems such as her Cartier pearl and diamond fringe tiaras. Still, she was apparently unwilling to share them with her new daughter-in-law. These tiaras were her personal property. Luckily, Grace received generous bejeweled presents not only from her husband, but the principality's main employer, the Société des Bains de Mer, or SBM. Diamond and Ruby Tiara 
SBM commissioned Cartier to create a tiara featuring the Monegasque national colors of red and white for the new princess. The result was a stunningly versatile piece with three central elements that could be worn as brooches. The design included round brilliant and baguette cut diamonds and cabochon rubies set in gold and platinum. It was a nice compliment, as only the rubies counted 49 carats. Grace was very pleased with her first royal diadem. She wore the diamond and ruby tiara at the pre-wedding gala, her first official portrait as Princess of Monaco, and a visit to the Vatican in 1957. Prince Rainier noticed his wife's joy and decided to complete the parure. He presented her with a ruby and diamond ring and a pair of ruby and diamond drop earrings. Grace wore the jewels at numerous state events throughout her life. Sometimes she used the brooches as jeweled hairpins or a necklace. Though Princess Grace adhered to more modern and simplistic jewelry in her later years, she still wore her majestic jewels on such state occasions as Monaco's National Day celebration. In 1978, Grace wore her Baines de Mer tiara to the opera with Prince Rainier. The Diamond Tiara Though the origin of this mysterious diadem is still unknown, it was supposedly Kelly's bridal gift. Princess Grace of Monaco wore her diamond tiara shortly after her wedding to Prince Rainier. The intricate composition features 214 modern-cut diamonds and 42 baguette diamonds. Grace wore it more frequently than her Baines de Mer tiara, showing off the glittery piece at numerous banquets, weddings and balls throughout her decades as the Princess of Monaco. In 1978, she loaned the diamond tiara to her elder daughter, Princess Caroline, who wore it for the ball at the Prince's Palace ahead of her first wedding. Since Princess Grace's death, the gorgeous tiara has been frequently exhibited and no Grimaldi lady has worn it, even Princess Caroline. These were the two and only tiaras in Grace Kelly's jewelry collection. Remarkably, diamonds weren't her most prized gemstones. To know which precious stone was the dearest to the princess's heart and why, stay with us. The information is yet to come. The Cartier Diamond Necklace Let's proceed with diamonds, necklaces in particular. This Cartier Diamond Necklace was one of Grace's most elaborate jewels. She received it as a gift from her husband-to-be on their wedding day. A gorgeous three-strand diamond necklace weighed 64 carats. The design featured round and emerald-cut diamonds set in platinum. Princess Grace wore the sparkling necklace at the Monte Carlo Opera in 1956. Now, it is part of the royal family's collection. Particularly, it belongs to Grace's son, Prince Albert II. The Coffee Bean Necklace Another of Grace Kelly's most famous necklaces was the coffee bean necklace from Cartier. It is an adorable 18K yellow gold necklace highlighted by yellow diamonds. The mid-century piece looked stunning on the golden-haired princess. The coffee bean necklace even appeared on her postage stamp in Monaco. The precious piece looks modern, minimal, and sleek. It recalls ancient Roman designs. Then, Wreaths of leaves frequently decorated statues of gods and goddesses. Princess Grace also wore this Cartier necklace during a famous state visit to the White House, where she dined with the 35th President of the USA, John F. Kennedy, and his First Lady, Jackie Kennedy. The Alhambra Van Cleef and Arpels Necklace You already know that Princess Grace liked precious Cartier creations. She was also a devoted fan of the elite French jewellery house Van Cleef and Arpels. Wait a bit, and we'll tell you about a smart move Van Cleef and Arpels made to gain lifetime recognition for Princess Grace of Monaco. Among several stunning pieces, Grace owned the brand's signature Alhambra necklace with four-leaf clover pendant. She frequently wore it during the daytime on casual occasions. In this video, we've mentioned Kelly's favorite gemstones. Now it's time to unveil the mystery. Grace had a penchant for pearls. 
she often wore just a simple but adorable strand in her everyday life. As an actress, Kelly also wore pearls in films. For example, she wore the strand of pearls in Rear Window, 1954, to complete her fashionable black-and-white ensemble. It has become one of the most glamorous looks in Hollywood history. Of course, Prince Rainier eventually found out about his wife's passion for good pearls. The princess amassed a huge collection of pearl jewelry her husband gave her. She considered pearls a necessity for a woman. Once, Grace famously quoted in the 1950s, I favor pearls on screen and in my private life. A woman needs ropes and ropes of pearls. The Princess of Monaco adored the iridescent luster of natural pearls. As you see the next opulent jewelry piece, you'll understand why. Three Strand, Van Cleef, and Arpel's Suite. Remember the first engagement ring Prince Rainier III presented to his future bride and her disappointment with its plain design? The prince didn't want to risk picking her wedding present. He simply invited Grace to the Van Cleef and Arpel's boutique in New York. Now, a little backstory explaining why the prince chose this exact jewelry brand for his important mission. When Prince Rainier proposed to Grace in 1956, a Dutch-French jeweler, Louis Arpels, reportedly sent him a note congratulating the royal and offering his services. This was an exceptionally smart move, as we'll see later. At the Van Cleef and Arpel shop, the couple met Louis Arpels in the flesh. He offered Grace several pearl jewels made between 1953 and 1956. She settled on this opulent pearl set. It was a very chic choice. It consisted of a triple-strand pearl necklace with a diamond swirl motif, a triple-strand pearl bracelet with a diamond blossom design, pearl earrings with a baguette and marquise-shaped diamond swirl, and a diamond blossom ring with a pearl centerpiece. The jewels looked extremely feminine, but they did not match each other exactly. Kelly herself created a royal suite, which she repeatedly wore throughout her lifetime. The meeting with Louis Arpels has made history. The French jeweler was named the official supplier to the Principality of Monaco just three months after their meeting. Though Monaco does not have a crown jewellery collection like many European royal families, they frequently require jewels as part of the dress code to perform royal functions. Princess Grace acquired other jewels from Van Cleef and Arpels, as well as borrowed stunning pieces for grand events. When she died in 1982, the Grimaldi royal family generously loaned some of her jewels to various exhibitions. In 2019, Grace's daughter, Princess Caroline of Hanover, wore the entire suite of Van Cleef and Arpel's pearl and diamond jewels on the occasion of the Rose Ball in Monaco. As you can see, Princess Grace loved the softly pearly gems. They fascinated her with their rarity, beauty, and timeless appeal. Pearls have become the ultimate symbols of her refined style and taste. The 20th century style icon, Grace Kelly was even depicted in a 1993 postage stamp with a strand of pearls. As we've reviewed the top seven fascinating pieces from Princess Grace of Monaco's jewelry collection, let's examine a mysterious piece that was intentionally designed for Grace, but never made its way into her jewelry box. Bonus Platinum Ruby Necklace It could have been hers, it was meant for Her Serene Highness. It took over 14,000 hours to make the magnificent piece. However, Princess Grace never had a chance to boast it on her delicate neck. Why? Let's do a little investigation. The suite was made up of 800 diamonds and 70 rubies set in platinum. The total price for the jewels was $46 million. Grace should have got it as her wedding present. The National Council designated a jeweler, and they settled on the price. However, a minor scandal broke out just before the jewel delivery. Roger Medecin, the vice president of the National Council and a former lawyer, was trapped in its center. Rumors said that the price of the new Ruby Ensemble had been overinflated to Medecin's advantage. The jewels were reportedly worth no more than $19.8 million. 
When Prince Rainier found out about the alleged fraud, he was very disappointed to say the least. Moreover, he found the design hideous. Rubies had nothing to do with Kelly's love for pearls. She would obviously choose diamonds or even emeralds over rubies. The National Council feverishly started to seek another gift. They settled on the already mentioned diamond necklace by Cartier, which became a signature piece in the princess's jewelry collection. No one is sure what happened to the platinum ruby jewels. As we're rounding up our glittery review, let's pay tribute to Princess Grace's stunning looks and impeccable taste in jewelry. Her precious rings, necklaces, earrings, brooches and tiaras were fit for a queen. Prince Rainier III was paying serious attention to what his wife wanted and wasn't afraid to spoil her with one more luxurious piece. The daughter of a model and an American rowing champion accumulated an impressive pearl-centric jewelry wardrobe. Even now, Princess Grace of Monaco is considered one of the most recognizable jewelry icons in worldwide history, with millions of women admiring her classic and glamorous style. Grace Kelly's jewelry was not just reserved for royal events and ceremonies. She also wore them with grace and style during public appearances and private moments. Her ability to blend Hollywood glamour with royal sophistication made her a style icon for generations to come. Grace Kelly's jewelry collection is more than just a display of wealth and status. It is a testament to her impeccable taste and timeless elegance. Each piece tells a story of her life, from her days in Hollywood to her reign as Princess of Monaco. Her collection continues to inspire designers and jewelry enthusiasts around the world, symbolizing a perfect blend of sophistication, grace, and beauty. In recent years, exhibitions of her jewelry have been held, allowing the public to get a glimpse of her extraordinary collection. These exhibitions not only showcase the beauty and craftsmanship of the pieces, but also offer insight into Grace Kelly's personal style and the timeless appeal of her jewelry. Grace Kelly's influence on fashion and jewelry is undeniable. Her collection remains a benchmark of elegance and sophistication, inspiring generations of designers and jewelry lovers. Whether it's the iconic Cartier engagement ring, the dazzling diamond tiara, or the delicate pearl necklace, each piece in her collection is a testament to her enduring legacy as a style icon. Grace Kelly's jewelry continues to captivate and inspire, a true reflection of her timeless elegance and grace. What do you think of her jewelry collection? Which piece do you like the most? Please share your impressions of the video with us. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more content like this.